Do the bones at the Bone Museum have any lead in them? Today we are here with Eric from Everything Lead to find out. So tell me about this device. This is an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer. It uses X-ray light to light up the atoms in the sample and we can see what the elemental composition is. Let's go scan some bones. Now we're going to scan the skull and as you can see there's a little bit of lead in his bones but a lot of arsenic over a thousand parts per million yeah this is pretty high 353 parts per million is well above the average of the romans 95 percent of all lead consumed lifetime is stored in bones and now we're going to scan the skeleton from the 1800s and let's see what it tells us not that much exposure which makes sense they didn't have lead gas in the 1800s i think this guy might have been like washed with lead because this has huh. eight thousand parts per million wow that's crazy. <clears throat> that is crazy. And 1600 arsenic. Either this person was like living a toxic life. Wow. Or they were a, like they cleaned the bones with lead. Wow, well, my gosh. This person had really had severe exposure. Wow. 3,000 parts per million. If you look how much lead and zinc and iron we found in this guy's bones. That amount of titanium and vanadium is also really high. Who knows what this person was up to. Just touching these bones won't expose anybody, but I wouldn't want to make this person into bone broth. This is why we tell you not to touch the bones at the Bone Museum. So this piece here is presumed to be either an arsenic or a mercury prep. Let's scan it and find out. 16,000 parts per million mercury. So all these people's lifetime lead exposure is stored in their bones, and that indicates what they did for work, what they consumed food-wise, what they were exposed to. Nothing interesting on these. So this one is the most poisoned by arsenic that I've seen. So this person has almost 300 parts per million arsenic. That means they ate probably a lot of contaminated rice or something. That's an insane amount of iron. Yeah, this is definitely a story for this guy's diet. This guy looks clean. This person must have lived in a zinc mine. <laughs> yeah, 31 parts per million. 31,000. 31, so this person must have consumed a lot of zinc in their lifetime. Everything we do gets stored in our bones. Unremarkable. Wow, so this one has a lot of lead, but I think it's from this paint. You said this was made in the 70s? Yeah. Let's check the other. Let's check the other side. And yeah, you can see that was just paint lead. And paint isn't dangerous unless it flakes off and you ingest it, so. Yeah, this one has no lead naturally, but it is this paint that has lead. Wow, it's mostly mercury though. Hmm. That's an insane number. 67,000 parts per million mercury? Yeah, that's insane. Just normal. Yeah, this person was pretty well exposed. 234, that's one of the highest. So we spent the day scanning the pieces at the museum, and while some of them show trace amounts of lead and some of them might show none, it's just indicative of the individual's lifestyle.